Hello Virgo, welcome to Thomas's Tarot Reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, please like, subscribe and share. Really, really important because it helps the channel to grow and if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Apologies for the noises or the noise in the background. Um, the people from the council are doing the garden um, and the hedges and all that kind of stuff, right? And um, can't stop adventurous people. <laughs> so um, fingers crossed it won't be too loud and, and maybe they give up and need a break or something, right? Whatever happens, happens. Anyway, Virgos, what we do here is we will um, divide the reading into three sections so it's easier to understand. Um, firstly, we look at the overall energy for the month of September before we then look into your emotional core, that means if there's anything that can now go, old, old pain, old trauma, or and or, depending on what the guides are showing me, whether or not there's love coming in, or whatever they say with regards to relationships, if they so choose. Uh, before we then lastly go into checking your, um, checking opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of, no of October, sorry, where am I? <laughs> in September. Point is, September is the ninth month. Nine is the number of completion. If there's anything you want to shift this month, just energetically speaking, there's a much better chance for you to do this this month. Okay, Virgos? Um, before we move on and, and start the reading properly, I'm, I'm going to put um, something in the... <coughs> blah, 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 somewhere down here. It is the Kickstarter I talked about. Um, you probably mentioned that I uh, collaborated with a, a good friend of mine and uh, on, a, on a 38 Oracle card deck called Fauna, Lessons, Lessons from Spirit Animal Guides. And um, we have now um, concluded the work and now we have a Kickstart event um, that runs for 60 days and we're already 30 days in. So please, if you like um, to get a deck, Please pledge, it will explain to you uh, and, and all that kind of stuff, but um, unless we reach the target, the deck will not come into fruition. So here are a few cards from that deck. So my friend Ellen Cook, she did the artwork and all the messages from, from uh, these guys um, come from myself, if that makes sense, right? So that's how they look. I'm not sure if there is more. Yeah, we got the hawk twice. <laughs> and what will happen is once they actually all printed, they will actually have rounded. They will be rounded, right? Anyway, so you can see that the artwork is literally stunning, and, um, and um, quite proud of the achievement. We just need to get it made, which is why we need your help. And ultimately, the link to the Kickstarter event is in the description box below. And uh, now, with no further ado. Dear Virgos, let's have a look at the overall energy for the month ahead. Now, Virgos, you got time to breathe out. Time to breathe out. Now, that sounds easy, but it's not. What the guides are saying is, you have probably been... Um, Overworked is not what I'm getting, but it's like, you know, there's just too much happening and you can't quite cope with it all. And maybe you have problems releasing stuff because there's just too many things happening all at once, that kind of stuff. And the guys are saying is, let it go, right? Breathe out, right? Let it go. Make space, which is what breathing out means, right? Make space um, and allow yourself to breathe in that new space, that fresh space that you create, right? So step away from too much hustle and bustle. Remember to focus on which issues in your life are actually yours, right? Do you have to be everybody's helper? That kind of stuff. And let it go in the month of September, right? So that is your overall energy, uh, dear Virgos. And now we're looking into the emotional core. Let's see what happens here with that. And you have, again, it goes all it goes into healing. So this is, it seems to be a big topic for you, Virgos, this month. You have meditate and contemplate. Obviously, when they're asking you to breathe out, and now they're asking you to meditate and, and, and contemplate. So what that really means is you literally take time out, you look at your more spiritual side, um, disregard your procrastinating and your overthinking, and really just learn 
to be in the now. That's what meditation does for you, right? Um, you can also go on journeys. The point is you just close your eyes, you know, you say to the guides, help my mind uh, be, be empty, right? Don't make me think about 28 million things and just take me on a journey, right? I'm ready. So there's quite a lot of ways of doing this. Um, maybe find a, a healing circle near you. That's another really great way uh, to, to do this, right? So point is they're asking you this month literally to take time out from everything um, to do this. Now, now when we look at opportunities that come your way, that also makes sense because the, the topic is that in order for you to manifest powerful change, if that makes sense, um, you have to first be relaxed enough to manifest what it is you want. And uh, speaking of change with regards to opportunities, you can expect powerful change this very month. So, if you're looking for a something, let's just say, a, a more specific idea, that might not come to fruition this, this month because there are changes. So, whatever it is you, you want to achieve, right, um, keep working towards it, but understand that, not, you know, um, change is the only constant in the universe, if that makes sense. Everything always changes because everything always moves and everything evolves. So, the point they're making is don't be afraid. Of change um, but understand whatever it is you're manifesting that maybe looks great on paper or you, or you really have prepared yourself for it oh yeah if I do this I get all these things um, there will still be challenges coming your way um, that that mean or will mean that you will therefore have to change certain aspects of what it is um, you actually doing so opportunities are not super abundant if that makes sense in september for the sign of virgo but they're also asking you not to panic right whatever it is you're you're, you're manifesting right now when it comes to you it'll come with a little label that says expect change right that's all we got time for please like subscribe and share really really important it allows us to grow the channel and please if you are interested in the new deck the Kickstarter is on now, you can see it on the screen here. And then um, the link to the Kickstarter event is in the description box. That's all we got time for, guys. See you all next month.